Hi everyone, Jenny here from Jenny's Home. Thank you for visiting my channel. Today I'm gonna to be starting on a series that I've uh, prepared for you and it's going to be called my Tea Towel Coffee Tablescape. Tea Towel Coffee Tablescape. It's a tablescape for a coffee table. So I think I just invented that word. But anyway, I'm gonna start with a tea towel, and I call this a tea towel. When I told my husband that I was gonna be doing this series, he said, what's a tea towel? So uh, I said, you know, uh, like, a, you know, would you like a cup of tea? Ooh, lovely, tea, T-E-A. So um, I love this one because um, it has a really nice color palette. It has some nice purples, some golds, and it has a green background, and I think it's gonna be really nice for um, a fall arrangement. I think this is going to be a more whimsical one. I'm going to use this as a template. I'm going to have lots of elements in this because I think it can be, you can kind of mix and match. And I think it will be a little more fun, a little more cutesy, um, something that you could have out sort of mid-September through the end of October. So um, I'm going to start with this as my inspiration. And then I have a flower arrangement because that's what I do. So I'm all about repurposing and reusing things. So I am using some wet foam here. For this purpose, I'm just going to be using dry hydrangea. And yes, this is a carryover of a lot of uh, a lot of uses that I've had for my dry hydrangea. And I'm just going to put these in here around the edge first, and then fill it up. I want it to be a very nice, simple arrangement because um, this piece is going to have a lot of different elements in it, and so the Flower arrangement is going to be kept simple. I like that. Nice and simple. I might fill in with a few more than I have just to cover that foam, but that's done. And then I'm going to use a bowl. You could use a candy bowl, a clear bowl, anything really. I'm going to fill it with some, some little acorns. These are some items that I've had in past things. And so, uh, pretty simply here, just fill up the bowl with these items. See if they all fit. There we go, that's ready to go. And then, I think it's always nice to add a candle to the center of a table. And so this is just a pretty standard um, a little candle holder here and I'm going to take another one I have this it's just a votive um, I'm going to put that upside down and then just a regular little candle I got this from the dollar store mahogany driftwood mm, lovely okay and then I'm going to set it on top of here because sometimes you just want to Give it a little height and you may not always have elements because I wanna always fill this jar with something interesting. And for this one, I'm just gonna take a piece of paper here, just wrap it around and then fill it with, um, I'm using uh, just dried peas. I think uh, they will make an interesting filler here. And just want to keep it kind of centered. There we go. And then just, there we go. Okay. Okay, perfect. Uh, maybe, maybe a little higher, let's see. And these are just, I brought out one of these. These are just um, dry peas that you get at the grocery store, wherever I'm using, using these today. And, um, and, you know, they just make something get interesting. I'm all about multi-purpose, multi-use. Okay. And then I might add, I might add a ribbon to this. I'll have, I'll have to see, but a little bit of wire ribbon um, makes everything look good, right? Okay, so that's ready to go. And then, um, then I selected another vase, and this one just has my same color scheme. It has purple, a little bit of gold in it. This is perfect. 
All these things will work nicely together because I'm following the same color palette as my tea towel. And I'm leaving this empty because I want this tablescape to be functional as well as pretty and attractive. And if your family is like mine, um, you have people that uh, plunk down in front of a couch, um, on a couch and in front of your coffee table. And you know, we have items that we need, we use. So I'm going to leave this empty because this is where I'm gonna house my remotes. And in my room, we have four remotes so and they always get lost so this is going to be where uh, we keep the remotes and then i'm also going to combine it with something that can sort of function this is an oldie but a good week but again i'm picking up my color palette here and um when um when folks sit down you can pull this out put your plate on top of it can of soda whatever you have um, again, I want it to be functional. So I'm going to go and set up my tablescape here and so you can see it on my coffee table in my sunroom. So do stay with me because I am going to continue with this as a series and stay tuned because this is going to be the one for fall. I'm going to follow up and I'll be doing one for, for winter Christmas. So hi everyone. I'm in my sunroom here. I've added the tea towel as my base. I've added this tray. And I'm placing the tea towel kind of parallel. I have a couch over there. And I'm going to place the, uh, line that up. There we go. And I'm adding this tray that's kind of fun and whimsical. I think it would be cute with other Halloween decorations around. And I've placed the flower arrangement in the corner here. And I'm going to add my trivet to the side here. My, uh, my beautiful, lovely vase of uh, remotes so everyone can find them and my candle holder and my little decorative tray so thank you so much for joining thank you for visiting jenny's home i'll see you in the next one bye bye